Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday's Assembly. I uh, hope you've had a nice weekend. Um, this weekend, this week, we might, the weather's going to get quite chilly, isn't it? And we may even get a little bit of snow. Let's see if we do. So today we are going to be thinking about our learning and we are thinking about our core value of joy. And we are also thinking about our learning power. Ow, can't, that because my arm hurts. I just met side yesterday. But our learning power of enjoying learning. And um, in order to enjoy our learning, we need to be able to make sure that we can take responsibility and be independent. So taking responsibility means using all of these tools in your toolkit to make sure that you can do this yourself and that you're not giving up at the first hurdle because we don't do that even when you get into the pit of learning you think to yourself how can I get out of the pit of learning and we have done a survey for um, parents to find out how they're getting on with uh, remote learning and lots and lots of you are learning at home and doing an amazing job and I've got a special shout out um, for lots of you who have been amazing I think Caden Mr Ralph especially wanted me to mention you and I need to have a look at what it is that you've done that's so amazing um, you've been trying really hard with your maths so people who are in the pit of learning and really really having a go now hmm what is it that we can do when we're in the pit of learning what is it that we talk about in our school when we really trying and we're just a bit stuck what is it that we can do tell the person next to you if you're in school shout at me on the screen if you're at home hopefully you've got to this yes it is our five b's it is be brave and have a go don't let lack of confidence hold you back you might surprise yourself you can do this okay so we have our five b's we have be brave we have be still stop and have a think if we sit quietly the answer might come to us backtrack Think, look at the learning objective or the success criteria. Have a think about what it is your teachers asked you to do today. Ask a buddy. Can they explain it to you more clearly? Not do it for you. Use some bits and bobs. Remember, you've got your multi-link and your deans and your counters and hundred squares and all of that stuff to help you. And finally, 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 at the very end, if you've exhausted all your own strategies, then it sounds like you may need to ask the boss or ask the teacher. Now, it's all very well me saying, oh, yes, you're in the pit of learning. You use the five B's. You might be thinking, well, I can't do that if I'm at home. Oh, well, I think you can, because I have been thinking about how we can make five B's for those of you who are learning at home and I am going to ask you to have a go at making a poster I am also going to have a go at making a poster for our five b's for learning at home so I've been thinking this morning and I have I've come up with some ideas of five b's for remote learning now I was just remembering because when I was first a teacher I used to teach little ones four and five years old in reception and remember when toddlers when you're a toddler and when you're a little um and I always you've got little brothers and sisters it, the most annoying thing they say is I want to do it myself and you're in a rush you're trying to put their coat on or, you, or they're making a huge mess but when you're little you want to be independent. You want to do it yourself and you don't want anyone to help you. And then as we get a little bit older, our habits change and we start thinking, oh, I can't do it. I want someone to do it for me. I just can't do it. And we need to remember what it was like when we were little. My children used to say, my, do it like that. If you were trying to tie their, um, put their shoes on for them, my, do it. Um, which was very frustrating because usually I was in a rush 
Um, but you've got to hold on to that. You've got to hold on to that wanting to do it for yourself. So here we go, everybody. The five B's of learning at home. Be brave. So be brave. I've changed that slightly to be motivated. OK, you're at home. You haven't got to be in school on time. You've not got me on the gate going, why are you late or anything like that? You've got to motivate yourself. You've got to get up. You've got to have a positive attitude. You might have a live lesson, you older ones, or you might have um, a check in. And if you haven't got any of those things, you've got to motivate yourself to get up, find your device and get on Google Classroom. So have a positive attitude, timetable your day. So write down in the day, right, what time are you doing your first lesson? What time you, have you got a Google Meet? Are you doing any Zoom reading? What time have you got anything happening that day? And if you haven't got any live stuff, then you've got to motivate yourself, okay? Believe in yourself. If you've got a little space somewhere in your house that you can make your workspace, then you then do it. It be you'll be so if you've got your own bedroom to work in, that is amazing. But lots of you don't have that. I know that. But maybe you can find a little space where you can get your pencils and your pens and your paper and your device that you're working on and just make that your own little space. Manage your distractions. If you're anything like me, I was working at home the other day and I was looking at the window. Oh, I wonder what that person's doing over there. Oh, look, there's a cat very distracted um, and also a good idea that I saw on somebody else's website dress to impress so you're getting up in the morning you know it's a school day you just happen to be at home even if you don't leave you're in the same room all day you are not able to get out dress to impress so don't just slob around in your jammies just to impress as if you're at school as if people are going to see you and that helps you have a positive attitude so that is our first one. Instead of be brave, go back to what it looks like on, on this one, having a go. Being brave when we're at home is all about motivating yourself and having a positive attitude. OK, so if you want to make a poster for any of these, then you can do be brave or you can do all of them on one poster. I don't mind. Um, and it'd be great to see them on your Google Classroom or you can email them in to me. Next one. So after be brave. Oh. And there's a little picture to go with be brave, even if you're not pretend to be OK. And that's fake it till you make it is a really good thing to do. Just even if you're not feeling it, get up, and make yourself do it. And the next one, be still. You've got this. So if you're stuck, if you've if you've watched the video um, or you've been set some learning and you just think, oh, my God, I can't remember. I can't remember how you find the area. <sighs> I can't remember what I was going to do next in my story. Just stop. Have a think. Maybe get a drink. Maybe go outside if you've got a garden or just look out the window for a bit. Go into another room and then come back and look at it again. And you will be amazed at just giving yourself a little space and it may well come to you, what it was you were thinking. You might have had an idea that's gone. Stop. Be still. And it might come back to you. It might not, but it might come back to you. So be still. So again, you might want to do a poster for that. Let's see what's next backtrack okay so if you can't remember what it was that um was in the video or what that you were supposed to be doing or you can't remember it from yesterday just reread the instructions have a look at it again read it again maybe read it out loud read it out loud to yourself that often works for me watch the video again or pause it in the bit where you think, I just don't understand that. Hang on a minute. What did he say? Or what did she say? Go back, watch it again. Or look at the work you did yesterday. Or it might help you to make a mind map. And I was going to put pictures of mind map up for you, but 
mind map is the point of a mind map is it's yours it doesn't matter what it looks like so write down everything you know about this it could be a list you could do it with lines coming off it just mind map what it is you're trying to do today what is it you're thinking about just have a think about what you already know that's the point of this you already know loads about this you've just forgotten it so write it all down or break the task down into little steps. Sometimes I have to draw pictures. So if it's a if it's a word problem in, say, for example, in maths, I end up drawing little pictures um, because it helps me to visualize the problem. Um, but break it into little steps. Don't think you've got to do the whole thing. OK, what are you going to do first? And break it down that way. So that is backtrack for remote learning. And again, you might want to make a picture, a poster of that one um, or all of them. And then, oh, no, I've just backtracked. <laughs> uh, let's go forwards. And the next one. OK, so in our five B's at school, we would have a buddy. We would say to the person next to you, um, can you just explain this to me again? Because I wasn't quite sure. And they might explain it to, to you in a different way. You're not asking them to do it for you. You're not copying what they've done. You are collaborating. You are asking someone else for their ideas because that might help you. Now, when you're doing remote learning, that's very difficult. Um, but I have seen some children, I think it was Maud and maybe Maud and um, Lena, I think, Lena Tolson and Maud were Zooming each other while they worked. And you might be able to do that. You can get ask your parents if you can. You have to ask your parents, but you might be able to Zoom somebody so that they're there with you. Like I'm up here with you. They might be there with you to do it. You might be able to message someone on the stream to say, can you explain this to me? Because I'm not quite sure. You might be able to ask your brother or sister if you've got one to explain it to you in a different way, just like you would with a buddy at home. Or maybe you could even Zoom another family member. You know, you might have a granny at home or a granddad at home who are on their own or somebody else who's at home on their own who might want to help you. So you could try that because your parents quite often need to be a last resort like your teacher. Because if your parents are working from home, they need you to be independent. And that's the whole point of our five B's. So that is another um, five B for remote learning, five B for learning at home, your buddy. You could choose those ideas if that would help. Let's have a look at the next one. Ha, bits and bobs. I was thinking about this this morning. Um, and I know we always say to you, go and get a number line, go and get a hundred square, use some counters. And at home, you may not have those things. Now, obviously, we can lend them to you. But the idea is that we're not supposed to all be leaving our homes, are we, at the moment? So um, try and find some things that you've got at home that can help you. You could maybe use Lego or pasta as counters. You could make your own number line, maybe put it on the wall of your bedroom. Maybe you can make some posters to go on your bedroom of your spellings um, and things like that. So you've got uh, maybe you've got some keywords up on your wall. So you could maybe get some things from your Google Classroom and make yourself a little a little space where you've got those resources to help you. Um, and obviously we can lend you some things if you need them, but I bet you can find stuff at home. I bet you can find things to help you. So you can use pasta um, to make different little groups if you're doing adding or even with fractions, you can help, that will help you. So let's have a think about what bits and bobs and what posters you can make to make your own little classroom in your own little space in the house. So have a go at that. And finally, if all else fails and you've tried really hard and you are still in the pit of learning, you could ask the boss. Now, the boss at this point might be one of your parents, but we would rather you try um, put a message in the comments for your teacher. And while you're waiting, have a little break, go and do a bit of Joe Wicks or try another lesson. 
and then if your teacher will message back to you you might be able to work it out then but if you're still stuck your teacher will give you a call or you can have excuse me have a google meet with your teacher so that is the very final thing that you do is ask the boss so we want you to be really really super super independent and really have a go at making these five b's for the home so if you go back on here you can go back on the video if you want to and have a look at them all and see if you can make your own posters now worst case scenario we might be doing this till easter some of us might be doing this till easter we just don't know at the moment best case scenario we've got another three weeks of this and some of us might be able to come back to school on the 8th of march that's still three more weeks one week this week, half term, two more weeks. So have a go at using the five Bs at home. Be as independent as you can. Maybe make yourself some posters or make some posters to show me. And um, then we can hopefully all be more independent and your parents um, will be very grateful because lots of them are trying to work from home and if they're not working from home they're trying to do other things maybe look after your little brothers and sisters or they didn't learn it the way we learned it and they they're not able to help you and they they feel a bit frustrated by that so just use those five b's and um see how you get on and if you do want to make a poster and send it in or put it on your google classroom then i'd love to see it i'm going to have a go at making a poster myself so have a lovely day, everybody. It's sunny at the moment. Let's hope it lasts and I will see you all soon.